All right, so this vid video is going to be on the cranial nerve. So to see the cranial nerves best, you want an inferior view of the brain with the front of the brain pointing up towards the ceiling. And this puts most of the cranial nerves within view. Sorry, this stand is designed to hold this the other way, so we're gonna kind of work with this here. Okay, so I have a couple of ways to help you um, understand and remember the names and positions of the cranial nerves. So I'm gonna go swing over here to the whiteboard for a second. So one of the ways is a mnemonic device. Let me come around and hopefully you can read this. In the mnemonic device, the first column says, oh, once one takes the anatomy final, and the other half is, very good vacations are heavenly. So just a cute little saying that gives you the first letter of each of the cranial nerves in order. There are 12 pairs of cranial nerves. So again, you still have to learn them because obviously there's three O's and you have to know which one comes first, which one comes second. You also have to know the name of the cranial nerve and the number. So whenever you write it on your answer blank for the lab practical, I require both the name and the number. Okay, I'm gonna swing over here. This very odd drawing here is showing you their positions. And so like I have the two olfactory nerves there. I gave you your eyeballs so you can see they're attached to the optic nerve. Here's the pituitary gland, the mammillary bodies, and the pons and medulla to try to give you some landmarks to where these nerves are. Okay, so now those being shown to you, let me go to the model and go over the different cranial nerves. So we start out, number one is olfactory nerve for smell. And these are the ones that look like a pair of Q-tips that are lying on the bottom of the brain right up into the frontal lobes, okay? Olfactory, Roman numeral one, which is a capital letter I, and they are for smell. Now I'm gonna kind of zoom in here and I'm gonna pull this pituitary down because we got a lot going on. We have an X in there. I don't know if you can see if this was put together. Those are the optic nerves, okay? The two optic nerves are connected in this X shape and the X is actually called the optic chiasm. So this is nerve one, olfactory, nerve two, optic. Then we have the pituitary gland if it is present. Okay, now if I push it up the other way, you see that we have mammillary bodies in here. Here are my Barbie boobs. Those are not nerves. So we have the X, then the pituitary gland, then the mammillary bodies, and then beneath the mammillary body, you see that little white string right there? That represents the third cranial nerve or oculomotor. So we have smell, we have vision, then we have moving the eyes with this nerve. Also over here to the side, sneaking up the side, there's a wire here. This is the fourth nerve. This is the trochlear nerve, which also moves eyes. So we, again, this one moves eyes, oculomotor. This one moves eyes, trochlear. The next nerve is here in the middle of the pons, about halfway down. It's a very large nerve. This one is called trigeminal. So we kind of went down through the middle and then we worked our way over to the side. And that's number five, trigeminal. It goes to different regions of the face. And now we're gonna skip back to the middle, right where the pons, this is the pons, meets the medulla. So starting in the middle, this first nerve here is number six. It is abducens. It is the last of our eye moving nerves. So we have oculomotor, trochlear, Oops, yeah, sorry, that was optic. Oculomotor, trochlear, and abducens move the eyes. Trigeminal does not. Okay, so this is number six, abducens. Then seven and eight are always very close to each other out to the side. Okay, number seven is the facial nerve, and number eight is the vestibulocochlear nerve. This is hearing and balance. This one innervates different muscles and regions of the face. Okay, so that is six, seven, and eight. Nine, 10, 11, and 12, we need to be, find them all on the medulla, and this is where knowing about this olive and pyramid come in. Nine and 10 are lateral to the olive. Nine on top, and number nine is for glossopharyngeal, and 10 is right below it, and this is the vagus nerve, so nine, 10, okay? 
11 is the spinal accessory nerve, and it's actually both of these clusters down here. And then to get to 12, we go back up and go to the medial side of the olive. So let's go over what these do. Number nine, the glossopharyngeal covers the last part of the back of the tongue and the throat. So they're gonna, it's going to help for swallowing. Number 10, the vagus nerve is your backup and innervates all organ systems without ever entering into the spinal cord. Number 11, accessory, also called spinal accessory, is going to innervate muscles in the neck and shoulders, things like trapezius and sternocleidomastoid. And then finally, up here, number 12, hypoglossal, is going to innervate the area under the tongue. So for the last time, number 1, olfactory. Number 2, optic. Number 3, under the mammillary body here, oculomotor. 4, trochlear. 5, trigeminal, 6, abducens, 7, facial, 8, vestibulocochlear, 9, glossopharyngeal, 10, vagus, 11, spinal accessory, and 12, hypoglossal. Those are the 12 cranial nerves.